Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. It's all the way off, huh? <gasps> oh. Hey everyone, it's me! Back with a brand new video. So today we're gonna be telling you guys some updates about the Dybbuk box ever since I bought it. And I'm gonna rant a little bit to you guys also, so let's get started. It's been happening constantly around my house is I'll just hear noises. Um, I'll feel a presence that someone's there. I was home alone today actually, and I just, me and my dog Jackal, if you don't know him, he's in my Meet My Dog Part 2 video. Please check out that. He was also hearing thing, and I was like, that's kind of weird. Um, also, that just keeps playing. Um, our water heater broke, actually, right when I brought the Dybbuk box into my house the same day the water heater broke after. Um, we bought a new water heater, and then that one broke also. And now we actually finally just bought a water heater again, and it's working just fine, so. <laughs> Another thing that has been happening was our wardrobe that has been running through our family for many generations and just years, um, probably, in the 1900s, early like that, um, I was born in the 1960s, so um, it's that old. It opens by itself. Um, I mean, it's been doing that, but it's been more doing that since I brought the Dippic box, if that makes sense. Second off, I wanna get into the symbols that was on the Dippic box that some of you guys like to argue with me with, and I'll, I'll let you know I was wrong that it is not a pentagram, but you guys are also wrong. It is not the Star of David. I looked into it. It's actually, the symbol is a hexagram. If you, I promise you, if you look up a hexagram, it is a hexagram. I looked into it. Um, the Star of David is like the upside down triangle and then the um, upright triangle. Um, a pentagram is like the star with the circle. And it really looked like that, so I thought it was a pentagram. Uh, but then I looked up like symbol stuff. It's actually a hexagram that is used in religious context with Jews. So I just want to let you guys know that it is a hexagram, not the Star of David or not the Pentagram. So no more confusion. Um, I'll show you guys the box again and I'll put the hexagram symbol right after I show you guys the symbol on the box so you guys can before I get into showing you guys the symbol on the box I just want to say I'm so thankful for you guys watching my last video um everyone was complaining that I did not show the Dybbuk box in the video but it's actually part one of what's ha been happening after I bought the Dybbuk box into my house um and then I titled it this is what happened to show you guys this is what's happening so guys don't complain about that it is literally just a video part one and then this is actually part two of that video so yeah i also want to thank you guys for a thousand views and if um i guess this is uploaded after that. if it gets more thank you for that guys i've never had that many views on a youtube video before and i appreciate some of the good comments and stuff like that and it really makes me happy that i'm like doing something that i love and want to pursue so yeah guys thank you so much i appreciate it fox i have it right now um literally this is the fucking hexagram it's not the star of david the star of david is actually without the circle and yes it would make sense that if it was the star of david this is a jewish box which it originated in um back in the holocaust it is a hexagram i actually bought this from a real jewish woman on ebay so don't complain um this is a hexagram and i'll put up the symbol of what a hexagram is what it does right now And now that I made all those comments clear, um, we're gonna open this bad boy soon. But like I said, if this video gets so many views, likes, comments, I will open it for you guys. I'm really curious of what's in it. I've been like shaking it. It sounds really fucked up. And then I bought holy water and sage. I'm being serious. I bought holy water and sage. I've been around paranormal shit my whole life. And to also read a comment that was saying, don't mess with stuff you don't know about. Well, sorry, I do know what I'm doing. I've grown up with paranormal stuff. I was born in Georgia. Um, ever since like day one, since I was like six, I loved creepy shit. So I know what I'm doing, okay? So this is just me explaining a couple of things that everyone was getting confused about. I was confused myself, but I finally got everything covered. So yeah, there you guys go. 
Now let's get on to the real freakish shit. Did wardrobe tonight and did the big box. I'm wanting to do like a couple of like EVP stuff like that. I don't, you don't have to have technology to do your own like paranormal search and stuff. You can literally have just like a phone or something. I'm gonna set up a seance with the damn box. And then we're gonna be exploring the haunted wardrobe tonight and see if anything happens. Whew, I'm getting a little uh, spooky here. <laughs> so yeah guys, let's get on to the real creepy stuff. Guys, what's up? It's currently midnight in the house and I am going to be starting knots. I have the big candle right here. I'm going to light it in front of you guys. There we go. So I have some light down here. We have the Dybbuk box that we are setting right next to the candle. And guys, I'm also going to be voice recording this whole thing on this um, tablet um, to capture anything. I'm not like, because you can't really hear anything in real person unless it's a noise they made or something. But we're going to be recording some shit, so I hope we catch some shit. Okay, let's do this. Here we go, guys. I have the candle, the Dybbuk box, and I have the tablet over there to record everything. And... I have my ring light so you guys can see me, so here we go. If anyone is here with me right now, please make a noise. If anyone is here, are you connected to the Dybbuk box? Well guys, it just got really cold right now. Like I feel like a fucking ice cube. Okay, and the air just came on and made everything louder. Thanks. Please make a noise and show us a sign. This is your chance to be known. We are not here to hurt you. Guys, I don't know. The only thing I feel or hear is the air <laughs> that turned on. If anyone is here, please make yourself known. Make a noise or something. Let us know you're here. We're not here to hurt you. We are here to get views for YouTube. Whoa, guys, that was weird. The candle just got like, really bright for a second. Hopefully the microphone captures something between like me talking. If anyone is here and if you are connected to the Dipic box, please move the box or make a sign or let us know that you're here. Please make a noise so I can get you to view. <laughs> okay, but all jokes aside, don't joke when you're doing this. Unless you're me. If you are here, please move the box. By the way, the box is right.
Well, it's picking up something because when I wasn't talking, the bars weren't going crazy. I'll show you what I mean. Those bars? What the hell? Okay, guys, so nothing's happening right now. So I'm going to play back this recording and basically see if we capture anything. I won't let you guys listen to the whole thing, only unless if I hear something. But yeah, I'll play some of it. Who's here with me right now? Please make a noise. Hey guys, update. I've already listened literally six minutes into the seven minute recording. And... What the hell? Okay. And legit, I caught nothing. So, we're just gonna end it, we're gonna it, and then we're gonna head on to the wardrobe. Guys, it started playing music. Why is it a woman? Shut up. Oh my god. Bro, you're not helping. <laughs> The hell? Is it all the way off? No, yeah, let me try. It's not turning off. Oh, it's not focusing. So after I did all this, I went to go get food. And then him, like, we came in and we heard that. And I was like, oh, that's freaking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm.